So if you've got an older computer that does not support the HEVC, use one of those four file formats using the, the iPhone Jump. Hey there, welcome again to Flight, I'm Joshua. And if you have a GoPro Hero 9 that's got some jumpy or laggy footage, or you're thinking about buying one and you don't have a brand new computer, make sure you watch this. All right, so I just got this GoPro Hero 9. I took some test footage with it, played around with some settings, loaded it on my camera and hit play. Now this is a screenshot from my camera, so don't take the, the audio quality and the video quality as being GoPros, it's the screenshot. But this is what it turned out like when I planned to play it on my computer. Hey there, Joshua here from Gander Flight. Just got this GoPro Hero 9. Let's turn it on to check out my video settings and test the audio. So as you can see, it's super laggy, super jumpy. It's just, it's, it's unusable for me. I can't load that file on my computer and then go and edit it to create a video. What it turns out to be is the HEVC file that GoPro natively writes to their, their video files to is a, is a newer format and it's better. But however, my, my computer doesn't support it. And so there's nothing that I can do to the computer to make it play the GoPro files. I wanna let you know a few things that I figured out in my days of researching and whether I'm going from here. So I went through every setting on the GoPro and tested them with a couple second clips of every resolution, every frame rate. And I found out that not every file is HEVC. So if you go into the resolution setting and you hit most compatible, there are four settings that will allow you to record in the H.264, which is something that'll play on older computers. Um, and that's gonna be 1080p at 120 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, 2.7K, at 60 frames per second and 4K at 30 frames per second. Now I don't know enough about cameras to tell you which one you should be using, but I do know that those four settings output a video file in the H.264 and that is something that my computer can play. All right, so what do you do if you already took footage with your GoPro 9, it's in that HEVC file format and you need to edit it on a computer that doesn't support it? Well, what GoPro recommends is downloading the Handbrake software. It's a free software that you can get for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And you basically take the file, load it into this program, select the file that you want it to come out as, and then it will transcode it so that your computer can read it. Trouble is, it takes quite a long time. So um, if you don't need to have 5K footage, go ahead and select one of those four that offer a H.264 file format, and then you'll be able to skip the whole process. But one of the cool things I did find out is when I did take that footage, trying to figure it out, I hadn't found Handbrake yet, and someone recommended to me to, if you have an iPhone, download the GoPro app, download the file from the camera to the phone, then take the file from the phone and airdrop it to my Mac. For whatever reason, when the iPhone airdrops the file from the iPhone to the Mac, it converts it from that HEVC file to H.264 and my computer was able to play it. So it works. However, that's two downloads and conversions you have to do. Go from the camera, download it to the iPhone, then from the iPhone, convert it to the file format to then airdrop it to the Mac. It was very slow. Doable if you already have the footage, but it's not something that I would, I would recommend doing for your normal workflow. It just, it just took too long. So if you've got an older computer that does not support the HEVC, use one of those four file formats. Again, it's 1080p at 120 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, 2.7K at 60 frames per second, or 4K at 30 frames per second. And then you should be able to just take those files from the SD card, drop them on your computer, and get into your editing software. If not, if you've already got the files in HEVC and you need to convert them, consider Handbrake um, on your desktop, or if you've got an iPhone and Mac, download it to the phone, then airdrop it to the Mac, and it'll convert it for you. Albeit slow, you'll get the footage that you need. All right, so if you gained some value from this video, you had some laggy footage, and now you've got a few ideas on how you can proceed forward to get those on your computer and in a format that you can view, go ahead and uh, give me some love below. Consider leaving a comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you're into DIY projects, check out GanderFlight.co. We'll catch you on the next project. Take care and pay it forward.